We're here with the lovely Haley. Haley. Haylers. Haylers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Business owner, CEO of Floodrise Beauty. That's right. Hey, go queens. check out her page before. Uh, 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 go Cut. check out her page. <laughs> Go um, check out my page. I do makeup and lashes. I'm getting into tattooing. You oh, know? shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I'm that's about dope. to be an apprentice under my tattoo artist. Okay. That's what's up. I already that's signed the papers, waiting for my e-license to come in. I'm so excited for today's episode. This is our very first episode. We got Haley. Haley's a beast. She's so fun to talk oh, to. Really? Very easy to talk to. Cool personality. You guys would probably like her a little bit more than me by the end of this episode, for sure. Un poquito. You know, this is our very kids. first podcast ever. So yeah, same. just to kind of set the tempo of what to expect on this podcast, really what I want to do is I want to show, I just want to show real people, you know, going through real things and how they overcome it and basically show the warrior inside and that you can be a warrior too. You know, sure. you can pretty much just overcome anything, anything, you know, facts. that's the tempo I want. But at the same time, now we were actually talking a little bit before this intro, right? And this is an, this is a time of social media. Which means if you throw yourself online, you're going to get like contrasting opinions, right? There's always going to be someone. Good or bad, yeah. Right. You know, you're always going to get somebody who's going to think completely different than you are mm -hmm. and who might even attack you for those contrasting ideas in the comments. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're, they're, people are probably going to talk to you. You live through the eyes of society, never through the eyes of yourself. I don't know about that. Depends on who you are. You know what I mean? Like right. sometimes, it, like sometimes the pressure can really reach people, you know what I mean? And they, yeah. they don't want to live anymore because of how the world sees them. But that's not what we want. We want to build an inner strength. We want you guys to show, like to see yourself as you are. The world will never see you as you truly are, only how they want to see you. Like it's, from, okay, now we're going like, if we really want to break into this now, right? I've been in so many different rooms where I will deliver the exact same words in the exact same way and get a 100% different response. I'll have people attack me, or I'll have people embrace me. Same. You know what I mean? I can agree with that, for sure. You know? So, there's a balance, right? Like, when you allow the world to define, dude, you'll, you'll never get the exact same response. You know? It's, it's never gonna be secure. Mm -hmm. So, at some point, you need to get your, your purpose, or your, your, like the way you see yourself, from a a higher power or just a deeper connection and love and embrace of who you are you know um maybe you define it you know but I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in higher power and i know that this is where like things will start to turn left and a lot of people will not agree with me just <laughs> and that's why i wanted to bring it up you know that people will not just that people are gonna probably come and attack me for like these these thoughts that i have mm -hmm. um but that's just the game you know what I mean? No matter what, you're always going to have people who go against you. Now with social media, it's more apparent because you can reach so many more people instantly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not just like avidly walking down the street sharing your opinions. That's why people wouldn't really feel it before, but now you feel it all the time. Um, so it takes courage to share and hop on the podcast, to like, you know, say what you go through, how you overcome, where your strength comes from, and just like sharing yourself with the world. Because I'm telling you, like... It's not really wholesome out there. Like, we will, I'm, I already know that I will have guests come on this podcast. They're gonna share what works for them. Yeah. And they're gonna sit, like, they're gonna be, like, feel so empowered by their method. They're and not it gonna works be, for them. like, authentic or, like, vulnerable. They're gonna just put on a persona of trying to be somebody that they're not. Mm -mm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, what are you saying then? I'm saying that people, like, w like, you're gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, for instance, I'm gonna ask you what you went through and what works for you to overcome it. And you're gonna share that and you're gonna be so affirmed on, like, what works for you. Because who is anyone to tell you that that doesn't work for you? Right. You know what I mean? And it's gonna, and it's like, you're right. You're good. Like, you're 100%. You don't need to change for That's shit. what I mean, though. Like, a persona. Like, I, like, no one knows me. I could sit there and tell somebody that I saw aliens. You can't tell me I didn't see aliens because I'm gonna believe myself that I saw she aliens. Didn't see no aliens. <laughs> I'm looking at an alien right now. I'm literally looking. I'm sitting next to an alien. So please. I was off. That was off. That was bad. <laughs> okay, so, but I'm saying like, that's what I mean. Like, no one's gonna be. I mean, I'm just speaking from what, based off of what you said. You know, not a lot of people are gonna be vulnerable and authentic 
like you said, they're going to believe what, they, what they're talking about because nobody else can tell them that they're wrong about what they're saying. I think that's a happy medium to it too, though. You know what I mean? Like, I think, um, that's why things can be a little controversial. And like, I think he's just trying to be controversial, guys. I don't think so. I'm a Capricorn. I'm always right. So just agree with me, guys, because so, I think what I'm saying is very logical. I don't think life at any point in like time is it ever as simple as one, two, three. You know what I mean? One, I think, two, three. It was that simple. You know how many infinite ways you can get to like one or two or three? A million and one different. I no. just did that. No. One, two, three. One point one plus fucking what? One point one. Plus one point nine. No, one point one plus two point nine. Would equal four. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I didn't say I was smart. Okay. There's so many different I'm ways. I'm talented. Life is complex. And I think it's shit. a happy medium. Like I think, I could, at some. It gets very complicated, especially when you're dealing with like traumas and emotions and all that other shit. Emotion is fluid. You know what I mean? It's never set in stone. Gum. Huh? I wonder if they could hear me chewing my gum. A little ASMR. <laughs> minor ADHD, guys. <laughs> my minor ADHD, because I can hear myself chewing as I'm nah, talking. No, she's trying to be like, yo, let me, let me save this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, let me just stop this guy's nonsense for two seconds. Maybe we'll capture this attention. <laughs> <laughs> reel them back in you guys back yet nice little commercial break but yeah no i mean you were fixing your microphone anyways yeah they were probably hearing all that shit more asmr action for you guys more asmr more asmr but uh yeah complexity so here's spit where, it out yeah here okay so <laughs> what works for you could work for you right but people when like when they watch it on the internet they're going to try to attack you and completely dismantle your method maybe there's good points to it maybe there's bad points to it but they're going to try to just destroy it entirely and some people may listen to that and actually completely. i mean i don't give a fuck i know and that's good that's why she's strong as fuck and that's why i'm proud to have you on the podcast thank you for having me you know um but some people might get destroyed and some i people... mean i'm not gonna lie i was cyberbullied in like fourth grade and I think that really turned my whole mental around. Like, I was the girl that got bullied and then I became that bitch. That what? everyone wanted to be my friend. I basically, I was in fourth grade. Then this kid that I liked, he was in fifth grade. So fucking stupid, right? Whatever. And um, I liked him. And then these girls that were his best friend, they made a fake Instagram page of him. And then they messaged me acting like, it was him. Like, I like you so much. Like, I keep looking at you in school. Like, some childish shit. And they lied to me. Mm -hmm. Like, they told me to meet them at, like, excuse me, told me to meet them at Four Corners. Mm -hmm. It was the bitches that were there that made the fucking Instagram, and it was never him. And they laughed at me. I can see the pain in your eyes. It's just my lashes. Don't fucking listen to him. I'm not in, I'm not hurting, okay? <laughs> flutter eye beauty. Flutter eyes beauty. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I went to the principal's office. Um, I'm not an op. I'm not, she sounds I'm like not, a snitch to me. I'm not a snitch, but don't fuck with me because I'm Because gonna... she's snitching. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm snitching. No, but I'm not, I'm not an op. I'm not an op. Um, but... Yeah, ever since then, I became the girl that everyone wanted to be friends with. Middle school, I was so popular. Snitch to get friends? <laughs> what? I just said I became You really just that changed bitch. the game. I changed the game. It's called reverse psychology, y'all. Okay? So. And then they followed me on Instagram. Those girls became your friends too? It's called having bitches look up to you. Damn. Just I might be 4'10", but bitches still look up to me, okay? All it takes so. is a backbone. My shit is strong as fuck now because no one can fuck with me. But high school came. Everyone knew me. Everyone knew me, but nobody knew me. Ooh, I feel you. I yeah, feel that one. I'm not famous. I'm just known. Definitely know that one. And I had zero friends in high school. I was a girl... I still have people to this day message me. Like this one kid, he's such a fucking sweetheart. He was like, 
he was a, a grade older than me, and he messaged me all the time. I still message him to this day if he needs anything. You saved my life. He said that? Yeah. I don't want to get emotional on this podcast. <laughs> Cry it up. Let's get it. No, I have my makeup on. Let's get um, it. Let's get it. You need some tissues? I'll be right. Okay. Stay tuned for this commercial no, break. No, I can't get tissues because you know what you could do? It's actually a hack. If you're crying and you have makeup on, ladies and gents, you like, you like cocaine? plug your nose. No. Do I look like I snort cocaine? <laughs> Please be fucking for real. Leave it in the comments below. Do you think, how many times a day? Yes or no? How many? How much do you think I snort? <laughs> how many lines does it take I to get her off? I can't even have water in my nose and I fucking freak out, let alone sniff some shit. I will die. I'm good. Keep that shit. She's not She's not. Keep dramatic. that shit on the table because I'm ain't gonna. i not touching that shit. But, so what's the hack? What? The hack. You you like pinch your nose. I'm not going to do it because I have makeup on, but mm-hmm. you pinch your nose. Yeah, I'll be the demonstrator. And then you like suck in. I can't fucking breathe. You're talking about like pinch it so no air can go through? You you breathe in with your mouth. Oh. Like. <laughs> there you go. And then you suck the tears back into your eyes. I felt like that was going to make me cry. I feel like my eyes are watery now. He's just a bitch, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm a bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hollering. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so what was I talking about? You being that that bitch. Oh, me being that bitch. Um. Oh yeah. So I saved this kid's life. Oh right. Yeah. Sorry guys, we have ADHD. Um. That's a good story though. I'm hooked. Tell it. Um. So I saved his life, and like I said in high school, I had no friends. How'd you save his life? He came out. Like I helped him come out. Oh shit. And I I gave him that like empowering feeling to feel like he was accepted. So when you say you helped him is because like I he was a very like all the people in school like who would sit alone at lunch, who had no friends, like the weirdos. I would always say like come join my group. Like I sat with them at lunch. I was I so never I can hear the world clapping right now for Haley. Let's go. Cheers. Yeah. No, I don't I don't like um to be congratulated for something that should be you simple. should be doing you to should be, be doing like simple humanity like is that a word humanity of course humanity hey siri is it no i'm kidding of course it is what is the definition of humanity the population of the world humanity humans the human, human race. race human beings collectively do you want to hear the next one no babe collective humans, <laughs> humans okay collectively. maybe i used the wrong word um no you did it whatever humanely humanely Humanely, human, humanely. What did you say? Humanity. Treated humanely. I treated word. people like humans. Okay. There you go. There we go. English. There meaning. it is. And English is my first language. Can you believe that? But, yeah, I didn't care about sitting with people at lunch. Like, that was just not my thing. I always was the type of person to sit with somebody who was alone or, like, help somebody. I'm just, that's just, like, that. <laughs> You crying? No. <laughs> Never that. But yeah, I just love that. And he's he's such a sweetheart to this day. Like, I saved his life because he, like, was suicidal. And but there like, were times where I was suicidal and I didn't have nobody. So oof. I feel kind of like... How'd you get through that? How'd I get through that? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's about to get real. Um, I had a wake-up call. I went to the hospital. You tried to do it? Yeah. Oh, man. Attempted many times. It's September. Happy Suicide Awareness Month to I am everybody. so happy that you are here. Thank you. You know? Yeah. It was uh, during eighth grade. Eighth grade happened. And uh, I mean, I did everything in the book. You name it, I, I did it. I don't want to get into it. Right. But just know that I overcame it because... I was in the hospital, I actually got picked up by the ambulance, and they took me away, and I was in a waiting room, and they were like, you're about to get checked into the psych ward, are you sure you want to do this? You're not going to have your phone, you're not going to be able to see your parents, talk to nobody, you're going to be in a room that's four by four, all white walls. I don't really know how a psych ward looks, or how like a mental institution looks, so anybody who's been there, correct me, but maybe you're mentally crazy so maybe you could be lying to me to fuck up my mind cut cut (laughs) it's getting cut it's getting cut um i was in a waiting room and my dad my stepmom my mom was there 
And my mom, me and her never had a good relationship until like two years ago when I moved out. And like growing up, I've always been her mom. So like we never had a good connection at all. And now she's like my best friend, but she never was there like mentally and emotionally. She'd be like, Haley, like you really want to die? You really want to die? Yes, bitch, I do want to die. Like, you don't tell that to somebody. You don't ask that to somebody who is trying to kill themselves. So my dad was there, mind you. He's my best friend. Like, we're both Capricorns. We're both the same exact person to the T. Like, we're both very prideful, headstrong. When we argue, it's like arguing with yourself in a mirror. Like, you ever had a fucking argument with yourself in a mirror? Trying to act like it's somebody else? No, this is my dad. Like, he's a fucking reflection of me. I'm a reflection of him. So he came in. And he was holding my hand and he was crying. And he was like, please don't do this. And he's not a vulnerable person at all. Like, recently, my grandfather, his dad just passed away, like, a month ago. And he is the hardest worker I know. That's where I get my hustle and my ambition from. Always been self-employed. Make anything happen. He's a fucking, he's that man. And he um, was at work. His, he owns a sports store. He was, he works there Monday through, fr Monday through Saturday. Monday through, I mean, Tuesday through Sunday, because we're closed on Monday. Works every day. Gets up, does what he has to do. Was there. Got the call. He broke down. He had a mental breakdown. Wiped his tears, went back to work. I've never seen him, like, I've seen him cry before, like, when he's been in the hospital, like, due to his health issues and stuff, but him doing, like, him being vulnerable is, like, very hard for him because he grew up in a generation where he can't be vulnerable. He had to be strong. So for him to, you know, be vulnerable with me when I was going through that, that was a lot. So that kind of, like, changed my mind around. And then I had a little sister at the time. She was two, maybe two, and, like, she's, like, my daughter, like, everyone's, like, even my mom, she was, like, can you get, can you take your daughter, take your daughter, like, everyone's, like, that's your kid, no, babe, I'm a MILF without the kids, okay, <laughs> I'm a hot-ass MILF without the kids, okay, but I had to live for her, because, like, I can't sit there and say, like, yeah, my sister, like, killed herself, over what? Not not being valued by other people? Fuck other people. I need to find my value within myself. I was just surrounding myself with the wrong crowd, the wrong people. People who weren't feeding my soul. And people who were using me. Just everything. Everything negative I've been surrounded by. And the last year, especially the last couple of months... It's taken me a long time. It's like, now that I'm looking at it, it took, me, it took me a long time to get where I'm at now, but I'm glad I'm here. Because I am too. it's not easy. So if you're going through something, don't worry. You're going to, no matter if it takes 10 years, 10 days, 10 months, 10 minutes, like it's, a, it's the thought of you knowing that you can get out of the situation. Like, even with like heartbreaks, heartbreaks are so hard because everyone's so becomes so codependent on this one person, their presence, their time, their energy, their affection, their love, their physicality of everything. You realize you had a life before them. Yeah, it sucks to lose this person, but is it really a loss if you're actually gaining something from it? You're gaining yourself back? You're getting to learn who you are again? That's why my heart is really protected right now and guarded. I'm still me. I'm just careful about who I give my heart to. Yeah. Because like I said, I wear my heart on my sleeve, so. I hear that. 100%. I definitely get that. ASMR? I don't think so, is it? How about that sound? Do you guys like ASMR? Like tapping? Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I watch ASMR to go to sleep sometimes. It's so relaxing. I've always wanted to become an ASM artist. I'm so happy for you to share that story. Guys, if you're watching this, go follow Haley. Go guys, support her. You guys don't have to follow me. Follow Transformation Tyler. That's, that's a dead handle. I'll tell you that right now. It's a dead handle. Ike Peasky. 
or transform.tyler? Transform.tyler. Yeah. Is that your new Instagram? Yeah, that's a new one, yep. Let's see. I retired Transformation Tyler. I'm so hungry. Legend photo and film. That's right. Legend photo and film. I follow all your accounts. As you should. As I should. And as you should, too. iCrispy860. That's me. What does that mean? It was my old gamer tag. iCrispy? iCrispy. iCrispy, like camera, like I. Like I'm crispy. Like you're crispy, like I'm fried crisp chicken? No, like crispy, like fresh. I'm crispy. I'm just good. I'm just fucking. That is the most corniest term yeah, no, I yeah. have ever heard in my life. Thank you. I crispy. I, Gotta be corny. You're crispy? Hell what's, yeah. what's the other one that you have? The new one that you just made, I just followed. Transform.tyler. Transform.tyler. Yes. But I like transformation. I don't like it. I don't think I was given enough. Because he's crispy now, guys, so he had to fucking upgrade his fucking shit. That's right. I've always been crispy. Shaking my head. What am I? Crispy? What am I? I gotta be, uh, I'm not salty. <laughs> Never that. Mm, that's a good one. I was gonna do another corny one. I, 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 I gotta, Say it. I, it was gonna be I pretty. <laughs> very corny. That's very so, stupid. like, stupid. Basic as basic, fuck. Basic, yeah. I know. That's why I didn't want to say it, but I said it because it was, it was an idea. Mm. Can't think of anything, though. I... Is it going to be an I or is it just going to be just... What about I legend? I legend is fire. Because you already legend Damn, photo and film. That is so hot. Oh. Why don't you just do that? I legend. Damn. I fuck with that. It was that simple, guys. Oh. People don't be thinking. <laughs> I was not going to be doing that shit. That was, <laughs> oh. I forget. Some, you know, sometimes you forget that you were born in a different time period. You know what I mean? And, uh, How old are you? Like 28. Yeah, eight years apart. Yeah. And the things you were able to do back then, you can't do these days. You get canceled. Tell me about it. My humor is like stuck in the past. But it's good. Yeah. Anyways. Back to reality. Back to reality. Nah, this this is a this is a free space. We free flowing. Space. We flowing around. Free flow. Free flow. Anywhere. But um. Yeah, I want to make this shit a little lighter. You know what I mean? When we start talking about like people's past and shit, it gets kind of heavy. So yeah, sorry guys, I didn't mean to make this shit yeah. deep. No, I can make this shit deep too. We can go real dark. That's why I said let's talk about celebrities. Fuck celebrities, bro. No, it's like this is giving TMZ. I don't want. First of all, 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 this is who this likes is, Drake. No, mute her mic. Mute her mic, please, please. Okay, no. He fucking. Poor. We were just talking about the self love thing. I feel like a lot of people put their identity in these fucking celebrities too. They worship these fuckers True. and then they get steered wrong. Let's talk about fucking music. You want to talk about Drake? You want to talk about music? Yo, bro. Here all he this, goes with the Illuminati. All this sex talk, all this cheating talk. I'm way this... too sexy for it. Too sexy for it. Bro, bro. That's why there's no loyalty. That's why there's no because loyalty. I'm way too sexy. No. Per. No. Yeah. No. Called being cocky. You're not cocky the only girl in the world. There's in more my, women. This is my life. You're the reason there's no loyalty. Get rid of her. No. <laughs> like, no. I'm saying I will that. Do, I'm, I'm gonna do. Sick. I'm gonna do the I'm human sick. race a service right now. I'm just gonna throw you off the bridge. <laughs> loyalty. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> I'm glad nah. I could swim. <laughs> Music. Fucking everything. You Fuck throw me shit. off a bridge into a lake. I'm gonna keep swimming and I'm gonna come back out looking sexy. And I'll find a higher bridge. We'll go take two. San Francisco, here we come. I've never been to the the, the West Coast. Same. I've been like out to. the country, though. Yeah, where you been? Mexico. Mexico? Mexico, Jamaica. St. Thomas and St. John are like U.S. Virgin Islands, but that shit is still out the country, so. Hmm. I want to go to... Sick. I'm going to Europe next year for my 21st birthday. Do you know where? Is it... Just all of Europe. Lisbos? Remember we were looking that up? Lesbos. 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 That's in Greece, right? Or in Spain, I think. I, I think don't know. I think it was in Greece or Lesbos. some Lesbos. Lesbo Island. Lesbo Island. I'm about to go there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Shit. No, I would love... I'm going to go everywhere. Greece, Spain, Italy, because I got to go see my my uh, my culture. Italiano. I'm Italiana. But you don't even speak with your hands. 
Oh, I do. I'm just being calm right now. Why? I mean, you're not Italian. So I'm not aggravated. When I'm aggravated, I sit there and fucking talk with my hands. I thought it was just like everything you fucking said. You just no, it's not. That's like, that's like a <laughs> no, fucking... it's not. You just that's, add the that's, shoulder. That's like what is that word? Pimento verde. No, it's what's the word like? Cocaina. He doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. What is that word like when you when you emphasis? No, like when you put like. Uh, stereo it's a stereotype. On your name? No, no, it's a stereotype that Italians talk with their hands. Oh, that's a stereotype. That's the word you're looking for. Yeah, stereotype. It's a stereotype. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And no one does this. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you do? It means more pepperoni. It's, it's this. Like the Where's emoji. The sausage? This emoji, right here. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an emoji. So like. If I ever sent this to you, just know that I'm my Italian is like, like I'm giving you the fucking. But it's a stereotype. It's a stereotype when other people talk about it because I oh, could do but it. But when you, I'm just gonna. I'm stop. Italian, so I could say it. Okay. I talk with my hands. Okay. You know, how people say like, um, people who are Puerto Rican. Oh. They're loud. How dare you? How yo, yo? Do you hear this woman? Italians are loud too. Yeah, okay. But Puerto Ricans are loud. Like, oh, God. Oh. Jesus, it's so disrespectful. It's not. It's a fact. No, like, you know why I was disrespectful? You know how many Puerto Ricans you know how loud you got? around? You know how loud you got when you said the Puerto Ricans? You're like, you know, Italians are loud. But Puerto Ricans! <laughs> <laughs> you know how many Puerto Rican moms oh, around? My I had God. never fucking seen or met a quiet Puerto Rican. This has been... <laughs> Thank you for watching our very first episode. Oh. ASMR. Touchy subject. Touchy subject. I love all. Love yeah. wins. Yeah. I don't care if you're blue, purple, orange, gold. As long as you're not Puerto Rican allowed. Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> love me some Puerto Ricans. My stepmom's Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, yo. She's awesome. Yo, back in the school I went to, everyone just called me Mexican. If you were Spanish of any type. We are Mexican. You were just Mexican. So you're Puerto Rican, 100%? 50%. What else? Portuguese. 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 Along uh, with their hands. Sicily. That's in Italy. Sicily. Sicily is in Italy. Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite food is Spanish food. Why? Which is really weird that I'm Italian. You like the yellow rice? Arroz con gandules. Oh, that's it. With empanadas, chicken and cheese. That's that's it. Pollo y queso, <sighs> empanadas. <sighs> yes, queen. I'm what else do I like? I like um, plantanos. Nope, not me. Nope, they're going to be gunning for me now. See, you know what's crazy? Everyone thinks I'm Puerto Rican and white. I mean, I'm Italian, but a bunch of other white shit that I don't claim because... It just feels like empowering to be Puerto Rican. I wish I, I could mean, be more be funny. Because fuck the whites. Fuck the whites. Because <laughs> fuck them. No, I mean, I have like Irish in me and like German and all that other European shit. But being Italian is just like, when you think of being Italian, like you think of the fucking mafia. I and think my of great grandfather like a was in the sub. mafia. What? Yeah, like You Parmesan. think of a meatball sub? That's the least Italian thing. That's the, that's so Americanized. You say mozzarella or mozzarella or mozzarella. I say uh, mozzarella. Can I have an order of mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. It's mozzarella. Can I have an order of mozzarella? Mozzarella Moots? sticks. Moots. Moots. A little bit of moots. That's not calamari. It's calamar. Wait, wait. Calamar. That, that's Italian. Yeah, calamari. Calamari. Yeah, it's. When the fuck did you guys put a fucking patent on fish eggs? What? Calamari's fish eggs. Oh, wait, no, it's squid. You're, that's caviar. Shush. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What? You guys, what? I thought I was dumb because I said humanity earlier, but he just, he just Humanity is a word. He surpassed my logic. I just took it to a whole nother level. Facts. You don't know how much stupid is Isn't in here. Isn't stupid. Is in here. Is in crispy. I got so, hell yeah. I got so much stupid. <laughs> I got all the stupid. Clearly. Wait, so calamari is Italian? Did I say that yes, right? Yes, and you yes. guys own squid. Yeah, we own squid. We own fucking. Squid is this squid or octopus? Calamari. I don't. I don't know. That's me. 
Squid or octopus? You don't even fucking know. It's your mom. So what? Answer her. For what? Put on a podcast. No. Maybe one day. We love you, Mom Dukes. So, how does it feel to birth the most amazing person that ever existed? He said what? That's going to be her question. I'm going to ask her that. How does, how does it feel to meet the most amazing person ever? To birthed. To birth. The most amazing person. She's going to say... Um, amazing. The best My mom would have been like, um, you know, I could, I put you in this world. I could take you right out. I should have took her back on that, that, yo, yo. that offer a long time ago, babe. Please stop. Like. You're breaking my heart. It's all right. I'm so hungry, guys. I can literally eat squid. Ew. I'm just kidding. You like that? I like galamar. You want some food? No, it's okay. I'm going to go after this. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to get. Maybe P.F. Chang's. I love some sushi, too. I don't like raw sushi, though. Bow, wow, wow, wow. I'm yeah, just I'm making not, noises not, at this point. What? You're making noises? Because he's an ASM artist. I love gnocchi. Gnocchi Sorrentino. What is that? You never had gnocchi? I've never heard of gnocchi. <gasps> I don't even know if I can say it. It's like it. a potato pasta. They're oh, like then I think balls. I've had it then. Yeah, no, I've had that shit. And, it's pretty good. Uh, I like the texture. Potatoes are... And it's so they're good. They're I don't like spaghetti and meatballs. I don't... I'm not... Not for me. When it comes to gnocchi, my God. You see my hand? Yeah. You see my hand? <laughs> delicious. It's delicious. I need to learn Italian. I downloaded Babbel to learn Italian. I think we're both babbling right now. Babbling, babbling, and dabbling. Babbling, dabbling. I only know Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella? Ciao Bella. What does that mean? Goodbye? Bye, beautiful. Bye, beautiful. Or hi, beautiful. What are the other? One or the other, I said I'm learning, not that I've already known, okay? It has something to do with pleasantries. Bella is beautiful. And then La Vida Bella, La Vida Bella. Beautiful life. Yeah. Living La Vida Loca. My Italian probably sucks. I was Italian. I'm so sorry. Love you. She's apologizing to herself. Apologizing to myself because I'm learning. It's okay. It's a tough sleeve, though. You just get it extended? You just get more added to it? No. No? I haven't worked on this in a minute. I have to finish it, though. I have to collar in here in the back. That's pretty fire. And then I have my my shoulder. And I started this sleeve too. You better put that away. Why? Shoulders, you can't be doing that. It's too much skin. I'm not in high school. I'm not going to get dress coded. You're going to dress code me? No. I'm wearing all black. Wearing skims. Shout out Kim. Kimberly. Kimberly created skims? What are skims? What are skims? Um, Skims is her clothing line. That's her clothing line? Yeah. It's not like a type of clothing? No. Like, I have mad t-shirts, mad pants, underwear, bralettes, tank tops, shorts. You got a favorite celebrity? Me. I'm a celebrity in my own head. You guys know who Haley is? It's, it's, <laughs> it's not Haley, it's Haylers. People know me as Haylers. I think it really boosted my ego a while ago, like years ago, was I would be walking. So when Medea is like greeting people, she's actually just like, she's giving you a shout out. Right. Hello. 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 Exactly. Okay. Damn, I didn't even realize that. Damn, you really in there. You know, you know T. Perry? What? She knows T. Perry. No. Hello. I don't, not personally. Tyler Perry. Tyler. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Crispy. That's not, I'm not Tyler Perry. You are Tyler Perry. <laughs> You're Tyler Perry. Crispy. Crispy. Um, I would be walking, like, in the mall, outside. People would be like, you're Hailers? Can I take a picture of you? No way. I swear to God. BS. I promise you. Like, I'm not even lying. And what do you do? I mean, oh my God, like, hi, like, you're, you take photos you're beautiful. With them? They ask you yes. for photos? I had a fan page. What the fuck are you doing? I'm going to show you my fan page. You have a fan page? I feel like you should be posting more. No, I'm okay. No? I'm typing inhalers. Like, I didn't make this shit. People thought I lied and made this shit. You think I have the fucking time to make this shit? I have three, actually. Queen.hailers, hailers fan page underscore, 
Haler's underscore fan underscore page. I actually created all three of those. Like, oh my god. This is from like, oh my god. Oh my god. The cringiest pictures. I wish you guys could see. High school Haley. Middle school. My dyke era went. They have your middle school photos? Yes. It's kind of weird. 2017. I'm kind of scared, Haley. I'm not going to lie. Ew. Ew. They're using Me? your MySpace. Do you even know what MySpace is? No, I'll never use MySpace. This is oh, insane. Bro. Like, who did I think I was? Oh, my God. Yeah. How like, do they get your photos if it wasn't through MySpace? What? What? Wait, how do people get my photos if it's your through? Your middle school photos. There was no MySpace in 2017. You were in middle school in 2017? Wait, what year are we in? 23? Yeah. You serious? God damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I was in middle school. I was no in eighth way. grade. Yes, I was in eighth grade in middle school. In 2017? Yes, I graduated as high school in 2021. Holy shit. That's crazy. I told you. We got a youngin over here. Holy shit. That just made me feel violated. Oh, I don't know word. why, but I feel like I feel violated right now. <laughs> you feel violated? Yeah. How? That's crazy. You were in middle school in 2017. Why do I feel like that was like two years ago? It wasn't. Why, why do I feel like that would make you like 15? <laughs> How are you not 15? Well, I'm going to be 21 in January. The goat season needs to come up faster. That's what Capricorn is, goat? Yep, we literally end the year, the last couple of days of December, and fun fact, the first couple of weeks of January, we end the year and we start the year. Like we're literally, our sign is the go. Bro, I cannot wait. I just want this podcast to blow up so I can go off the rocker and go crazy. With what? Like life. First of all, the calendars are already fucked up. Did you know? <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> all right, so if. If Put it in retrospect, If please. you follow the astrology, I don't follow astrology, just as a heads up. You know what I mean? But... He follows God. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, so... Spirit, lead me. <laughs> it's so good. In a cup, I'm actually reviving. That's not the song. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to change it up. I'm put it on my remix. All right. But DJ going back, Hillers, these DJ calendars Hillers. have been altered. But uh, Aries is supposed to be like the very first sign, right? Right? If you know astrology, Aries is the first sign. It starts first. That's where the seasons start. And then it goes all the way back around to like whatever the fucking one before Aries is. He's lying. I'm not lying. It starts with Aries. Aries is number one. And that's when the year is supposed to start in spring. Calendars have been altered. Calendars have been altered. If you're into astrology, you know this. Aries starts it. Aries starts it? Mm hmm. You're an Aries? No. Oh. You're a liar. What I'm are not. you? I'm not. What are you? I, uh, I heard it from uh, somebody said this the other day. I'm a, I'm a saggy tit. Saggy you're a Sagittarius? Titty. Saggy titties. Yeah. Your birthday's in December? Yes, it is. He's a saggy tit. Yeah. Sagittariuses are all right, they're the best. I don't even know, to be honest. It's, I don't know, like, I don't live my life through, astro like, through astrology. Like, oh, yeah, like, I have to live up to a Capricorn's I'm not car. Capricorning today. Yeah, like, I'm not Capricorning today. Or, like, my sun, my moon, and my rising. Like, mm. those are all aspects of who you are as a person. What's your rising? I'm I was into sure. it for a little while. I'm not going to I'm not sure what my rising, my moon, or my sun is. But you don't? I know, what? I know what they are, but just not, like... Which one is which? I know that I'm Gemini, Cancer, and Capricorn. So, okay. My Capricorn is from me being so like driven and being a hard worker. The Cancer in me is Bro. emotional as fuck. And then my Gemini side is I can flip a fucking switch on and off. Like, you, don't fuck with me, but you can fuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. not confusing. If you get it, you get it. Don't you fuck with her, but you can fuck with her. You don't. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Haley, I fuck with you, but I never fuck with you. It's okay. You're a saggy tit anyways. That's right. Saggy, crispy tit. <laughs> the crispiest of titties. Ew. What? Crispy titties. Crispiest. 
crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he about to be in the gym on one of his videos. He about to be like, gotta get rid of these crispy titties. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, he's about to flex his, his fucking pecs in the gym. Bow, in the video. He's bow, about to, bow. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Crispy fucking titties. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, I'm weak. Definitely, definitely not. 